There are many types of altars, each serving a unique purpose in our spiritual journey. So these altars can be classified into four main dimensions of spiritual engagement. Number one, we have the personal altars. And these are individual connection points with God where we dedicate ourselves to pray and develop intimacy with God. A good example, we find it in Genesis chapter 12, verse 8, where we are told that Abraham built an altar at Bethel and he began to call on the name of the Lord. So that phrase, call on the name of the Lord, shows that he began to pioneer prayer from this altar. Number two, there is the familial altars. And this is just spiritual platforms where members in an household gather together. That is father, mother, visitors, maybe the house help. They gather together to do spiritual exercises like worship, prayer, sanctification, and more. So a good example is in Joshua 24, 15, where Joshua declared that, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So with continued commitment to this vow, Joshua established a familiar altar for his family. Number three, there is the communal altars. And communal altars are also known as corporate altars. And these are spiritual platforms for larger groups, such as a congregation in church, a community, a nation. And this uh, group gathers for worship, prayer, and uh, other spiritual exercises. So a good example is in 2 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 13 to 14, where Solomon gathered the Israelites to dedicate the temple then we have the transitional altars and transitional altars or altars of divine timing they mark important spiritual cycles and life changes at critical times such as at start of a new day the start of a new year or the start of a new season and this was powerfully uh, illustrated in the israelites whereby they marked every season with a feast for instance the feast of the tabernacle which they celebrated the remembrance of god's providence in leviticus chapter 23 verse 34 to 36 so do you want to learn more about each of these type of altars and how to build them in your life visit our blog sproutmentor.com for an in-depth exploration of these types of godly altars thank you for watching and share follow for more bible bites and be blessed